Again, welcome all of you. Some of you came uh, late. So, on behalf of uh, NACC Gauria Boys, so as a boys advisor, uh, I welcome all of you for coming, taking your precious time, and uh, <coughs> attending today's uh, very special seminar. So, now uh, we are going to have our most weighted program uh, today's seminar or session. What is the name of the topic? Success formula. Okay. So, so now I give her uh, a brief introduction of uh, Maharaj. So, uh, His Holiness uh, Bhakti Prachar uh, Parivrajak Maharaj. Uh, he uh, joined as a uh, full-time uh, devotee uh, in 1996. Uh, by getting attracted by the teachings of uh, Srila Prabhupada, by the uh, teachings of Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> so Maharaj, uh, he completed his graduation uh, from St. Javier's College in uh, 1993 and then uh, uh, he did his chatter account and uh, he is actually in proper profession, uh, chatter account and also uh, cost accountant. So, after completing his study uh, by the uh, inspiration of Bhagavad Gita, uh, uh, Maharaj decided to dedicate his life to spread this uh, message, the teachings of Bhagavad Gita uh, all over the world. So, with that desire, <coughs> Maharaj joined as a full time uh, in Mayapur, Iskon Mayapur. So, uh, after <coughs> In 1996, uh, uh, till today, Maharaj have done various services. <coughs> so, uh, especially uh, Maharaj uh, served in the uh, uh, in the headquarter of Iskon in Sridham Mayapur. <coughs> so, in different uh, like uh, managerial uh, post and uh, different uh, valuable services. So, he offered uh, significant service to Iskwan Mayapur in various leadership and management position. He is a natural preacher as well attracting many souls by his, by his intelligent presentation of Krishna consciousness. He started and developed college preaching, bhakti miksha preaching and other outreach activities at Iskwan Mayapur. He has been serving as a traveling preacher of Iskwan Mayapur spreading the glories of Mayapur Dham and teachings Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all over the world since 2006. In the year 2018, he came out from the management services of Iskon Mayapur in order to give more focus on preaching outreach and spiritual education. His preaching <coughs> services including taking and developing of development of youth and bhakti viksha group of Iskon Mayapur and other centers of his con. He is awarded sannyas initiation by His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj on 3rd September 2022 at Sridha Mahapur. Apart from preaching services, he is serving as a regional secretary of ISKCON India for Uttar Pradesh, for Rajasthan, for Meghalaya and for Arunachal Pradesh. So for this four state Maharaj serving as a regional secretary. Also Maharaj Maharaj serving as a chairman of ISKCON, ISKCON <coughs> Bhagavat Mahavidyalaya. So Maharaj even giving different courses on Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaivab and other different courses. He also involved into, the, into serving and promoting the development of Navadip Dham and Gaur Mandala Bhumi. So <coughs> Maharaj traveling different parts of the world like uh, all over India and Middle East, uh, Europe, uh, Bangladesh, Nepal and many other countries and <laughs> inspiring many many uh, people uh, to uh, lead the valuable life on the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. So Maharaj uh, was staying here in Kolkata for last 3-4 days and Maharaj will be having very busy schedule. Every day Maharaj having 3-4 program. Uh, but in his busy schedule Maharaj uh, till he took out his time to come here and give his valuable association. So I am very thankful to Maharaj for giving his valuable time. So welcome Maharaj by loudly chanting in our traditional style three times. Hari Ho! So now I request all of you before Maharaj begin his speech. So I request all of you please kindly 
keep your mobile in silence mode. Keep your mobile in silence mode. So Maharaj is Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamini Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Prasharini Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschata Rishadarini Bancha Kalpata Vasha Kripasindu Padivacha Patitanam Pavanipo Vaishnavipo Namo Namaha Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Shri Namaha E Krishna Kuruna Sindha Dina Vandha Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastade Taptakanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshari Vishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Kalipri Nilajalajala Nivasaya Nittaya Paramatmane Bhagavadra Subhadrabhyang Jagannathaya Te Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atrai Takadadhar Shivasadi Gauravakta Brinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Mukham Kuruti Vachalam Pangulang Hai Degiring Jatripata Maham Mande Sri Guru Dvatarinam Paramananda Madhavam Sri Chaitan Maheshwara Hare Krishna, welcome everyone for today's session, Success Formula to become a leader. And today is also a very special day, today is Gita Jayanti day. So how many of you know what is Gita Jayanti? Okay, few. How many of you are from India? Thank you. So, you are in, from India but you don't know what is Gita Jayanti. That shows the situation of this country. So Gita, Bhagavad Gita, how many of you heard about Bhagavad Gita? Okay. So, but you don't know what is the meaning of Gita Jayanti. Okay. So Gita Jayanti is the day of the appearance of Bhagavad Gita. Means Bhagavad Gita was spoken on this auspicious day by the Supreme Lord Krishna to Arjuna in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. So do you believe that or do you feel it's a myth? How many of you believe that, believe that it exactly happened? Okay, no need to go into the debate. Very good. So you can enter the topic. So our Topic is based on the teachings of Bhagavad Gita and from the life of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sila Prabhupada. The picture you are seeing is a picture of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sila Prabhupada. He is from Calcutta and he founded this society, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, in the year 1966 in the city of New York in America. And uh, he traveled all over the globe for uh, 12 years and established 108 temples all over the world and spread Krishna consciousness in every continent and prominent cities and countries of the world and wrote Vedic literature, translated Vedic literature into English. Because his spiritual master, his divine grace, Bhakti Siddhan Sushantakur Prabhupada, instructed him, because he was studying in Scottish Church College in Calcutta and during British rule, in 1992, here in Calcutta city, in the Ultaranga Junction Road, there was a building. So in that building, it was a temple. And in that temple, on the floor, on the roof of that temple, His Divine Grace instructed Srila Prabhupada that you are an educated young man. So it's your duty to spread this message of the Lord to spread the message of Bhagavad Gita in the English-speaking countries in English language. So to fulfill that desire of his spiritual master, he translated the Vedic literatures like Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and all other literatures into English language. 
and uh, International Society for Krishna Consciousness has been established to spread this message. So legacy is continuing. And after he translated into English, this is Bhagavad Gita. He was the first person who translated Srimad Bhagavatam into English in an authentic manner. And uh, Bhagavad Gita was translated into English and after that it was translated into many languages. I think more than 100 languages in this uh, world have been used to present Bhagavad Gita in this world. So Bhagavad Gita has been translated into more than 100 languages. So this is the contribution of ISKCON to spread the message of Bhagavad Gita all over the world. So why I am telling this? Because uh, this is the foundation of our discussion. So we'll be taking the success formula to become a leader from the teachings from Bhagavad Gita. Is that okay with all of you? Yes. Okay. Yes. So go to the slides. So before understanding the success formula, we have to understand first who is a leader. So how many of you want to become leader? Okay, very good. So the topic is relevant for you. So there are two kinds of leadership, value-based leadership, position-based leadership. So value-based and position-based. What is the difference? So position-based leadership means you are getting the authority from your position. But value means you are not getting your authority from your position. You are getting your authority from your personality irrespective of your position. That is known as value-based leadership. So value-based leadership is higher than position-based leadership. There are different levels of leadership, but position-based leadership is the very lowest rank. And value-based leadership also has different varieties, but value-based leadership is always higher than the position-based leadership. So what we will talk today here is value-based leadership, not position-based leadership. Because position will come, position will go, but value will remain eternally. So that is the principle. So in order to understand who is a leader, so I have used this uh, leader word as an acronym, then it will be easy for us to remember who is a leader. Yes, I see it first, everybody raise then. That they understand English, right? Okay? Yes. You need Hindi or you need uh, other language or no. English is okay? Okay. So just to... Mahadev Prabhu, please come out and see. Yes, ma'am. How many of you are comfortable in English? Okay. okay. So you are also comfortable? Hare Krishna. <laughs> so who is a leader? So AL stands for lead by values. E, eager to learn. A. Accept responsibility. D. Demonstrate transparency. E. Extend helping hand. And R. Respect everyone. So, these are the different qualities, characteristics to become a leader. Is that okay with all of you? So, next. So, live by values. So, Bhagavad Gita explains, Jajjat Atariti Shastras Tattat Ebetara Janaha Swajat Pramanam Kurute Lakustat Anubartate. Whatever action a great man performs, common men follow. And whatever standards he says why exemplary acts, all the world pursues. So leader has to be exemplary. So we used to learn, I don't know whether you learn nowadays or not. In our childhood, we used to learn the principle. If money is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. But if his character is lost, everything is lost. But I think this principle has been changed nowadays, has been reversed. If character is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. But if money is lost, everything is lost. Money talks, right? We think leader means who has money. But we are not talking about that kind of leadership. So money is needed, but money does not give the character of a person. The character does not depend on money. Character depends on values. 
So we have a choice whether we need values or we need valuables. Two things are there in our life. So Arjuna and Durjadhana, they went to Krishna for help before Kurukshetra war. And both of them went to ask help from the Lord. So Lord said, this is the war between the family members, so I will not take part in this war. I will not fight for it. But I have my Narayani Shena. So you can take that. So both of them went, who will ask first? So Krishna said, Arjuna is uh, junior to you. So junior has the privilege to ask first. That is the culture. So Arjuna asked, Vardhujadra uh, was in, in a very in an anxiety whether Arjuna will take the Narayani Sena or not. Because he came to take the Narayani Sena from Krishna. So Arjuna said, my dear Lord, whether you fight or don't fight, I want you. So Durjadana was very happy inside, but externally, he was saying, oh, he took away you. So what else I have? Please give me Narayani Sena. This is called hypocrisy, demoniac nature. Something is inside, something is outside. That's going on in the modern era. You cannot understand who is he. Because something is inside, something is outside. Internal and external are not same. That is the character of Durjadana. And Dujana thought he will become successful because he got the he got soldiers like anything, Narayani Sena, very powerful. But who became victorious? Why? Because he made the right choice. So choice is there, whether we want Narayan or we want Narayani Sena. Whether we want value or we want valuables. People think why not both? That's good. But if there is a choice, that makes the person a leader. What is choosing? So in order to become a leader, when there is a choice given, someone who is opting for values will become a good leader. So Arjuna is the real hero, is a real leader, because he chose values. He chose Narayan, not the Narayani Sena. Next. E. He get to learn. So you are also learning, you are a student, but you should not think only during student life you should learn. Srila so Prabhupada used to say, in order to be a leader, we should learn something new every day. A leader is a reader. You have to read. Most of the successful leaders, they spend a lot of time in reading. Because by reading, we get knowledge, learning. If you stop learning, then you become a dead person. And you will be failure. So in order to be a leader, we should be eager to learn. So Arjuna, he was in a deluded state. He was confused whether to fight or not to fight. That's why he surrendered himself to Krishna to learn. He became the disciple. Disciple means a student. Sarjuna submitted himself to Krishna to learn from him. That's why Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. That's why this verse explains, Kāparna dosa upata sabhāva, tichyamitaṁ dharma sambhura cheta, jasya sannishchitaṁ guhitaṁ me sishyasthyaṁ sādhi māṅkāṁ kutandaṁ. Arjuna was confused. Why? Because he was not able to understand whether to fight or not to fight. Because he had identity crisis. He was a fighter. As a fighter, he had to fight. But in front of him was Pitama Bhishma, who was the grandfather, and Donacharya, who was the teacher, the guru of Arjuna. So as a fighter, he should fight with them. But he was thinking, I am not a fighter only, I am the 
grandson of Vishnu Pitama, and I am the disciple, student of Dronacharya. So how a student or a grandson can fight with the spiritual master and with the grandfather? So he was in confusion. This is called Dharma Sankat. Confusion about our duty. What to do? And we have this Dharma Sankat also in our life. What to do? Whether to become engineer, or whether to become doctor, whether to become businessman, whether to become an executive. What to become? Confusion. So in order to become a leader without confusion, you need a teacher. So, Arjuna became a student and that's why he heard Bhagavad Gita from Krishna and his confusions were over. So that is the second principle, E, eager to learn. Next. Accept responsibility. In this world we want authority but not responsibility. Leader means accepting responsibility. Leadership is not a position of privilege. Leadership is a position of responsibility. Leadership is not a position of enjoyment. Leadership is a position of service. That's why service means responsibility. So here this verse explains, karma nadika araste ma phala sukadachana ma karma phala hetur bhu ma te sangastu akarmani you have a right to perform your prescribed duty, but you are not entitled to the fruits of action. Never consider yourself the cause of the result of your activities and never be attached to not doing your duty. So we can perform our activity on three different levels. Generally, when we perform our duties, we have expectations. Kya milega? Kitna tankha milega. Salary kitna. That is our expectation. Right or wrong? Then you are not into this leadership position. You become employee. So, parks means you become employee. How many of you want to become employee? But I heard that you are searching for jobs. <laughs> So, employee cannot be a leader. Employee is not a leader. So, he looks at the boss for money. Right? If that is the inspiration, then you are not in the category of leader. So, leader means responsibility, not expectations. And when you have expectations, what will happen? Expectations lead to frustrations. So in order to be a leader, you have to be detached. For our own sake also. It's not that uh, by detachment, you will not be happy. You will be more happy when you are detached. And this is science also. Because results are not in our hand. And we have seen also, the students with same intelligence and same level of study, one student scores very high and other student does not score that high. Why? You can answer this with your logic and argument. Because this is beyond our logic and argument. Because results are not in our hand. And who is controlling the results? That is another subject matter. But at least it is not in our hand. And because of that, Attachment or expectations before results comes out, we are in anxiety. Kitna milega. Scores kitna aega. Ekene topa hunga kine. E chinta. Anxiety. Topa ni banega to nukti ni milega. Kita mata kya bolega. Kitna paisa karcha karke. Apne apka jinde ki balwar kya. To one father was telling that I am spending so much money to make you a good student, but you are not studying and you have failed. And see, 
the girl next door, Lucy. She became topper. Look at her, look at her. How she scored so high. Then the boy said, looking at her only I said. <laughs> So, the point to be made is that expectations lead to frustration. So, that is called lower level, low level. Then we perform our duty, uh, we perform our activities based on the sense of duty. As a student, you should study, as an employee, you should work, as a businessman, you should earn money. As a politician, we serve the country, so we have duty. Out of sense of duty, we perform our activities. That is little higher level. And then, when we perform our duty, or we perform our actions out of love, that is top level. So accepting responsibility comes when we perform our duty based on the sense of responsibility comes from love, or from the sense of duty. Otherwise, we will not be responsible. If we don't get money, we'll, if we get uh, more money, we'll go to other company. Right? Because our driving force is money, not the responsibility. So therefore, accepting responsibility is very, very important principle. Next. Demonstrate transparency. So leader, cannot have private life. He's a public servant. Inside, outside, should be the same. That is called demonstrate transparency. Arjuna was very, very transparent. He was very, very transparent. So Arjuna said, you are the supreme personality of God and the ultimate about the pure is the absolute truth. You are the eternal, transcendental, original person, the unborn, the greatest. All the great sages such as Narada, Ashita, Devala and Vyasa confirm this truth about you. And now you yourself are declaring it to me. So transparency is very, very important. So as a leader, we have to demonstrate transparency. Next. Extend helping hand. So leader has to extend help. Ex-president of India, he made a wonderful statement. He defined who is handsome. How many of you want to become handsome? Don't feel shy. He spent a lot of time on that. So we all want to become handsome. But we think handsome is external beauty. But real handsome is not external beauty, it is internal beauty. That's so why he said, if you are to become handsome, give your hand to some. That is called handsome. Helping hand. So to help people. When we help people, then we become handsome. It's internal beauty. So a leader has to have that quality. And by that quality, he can become handsome. So extending helping hand is a very important principle to become a leader. Yes. Respect everyone. So generally we have a tendency to respect who is higher than us. And we also respect to get our things done. Right? But leader means how to know who is a leader, how he is dealing with the normal common people. That is the symptom of a leader, how he is dealing. So a good leader deals very respectfully with the common people. That is a very, very important principle. And Krishna says that equal vision will come when we have transcendental knowledge. So there are two identities, spiritual identity and material identity. We give respect by seeing the bodily situations. But beyond the body there is another identity which is invisible, that is called spirit soul. So when we get transcendental knowledge, we don't see the body, we see the spirit soul within. And we see the spirit soul as the part and person of the Supreme Lord. And that makes us divine in our vision. 
and with that vision we can see everyone equally. That equal vision will give us inspiration to give respect to everyone. So we have to deal with people respectfully. That is very, very important quality of a leader. Next. Okay, it's done. So, can you remember this uh, definition of leadership? Who is a leader? So, what is uh, L? What is L? What is E? Very good. A. D. E. R. Very good. So, can you remember this? Yes. So, you felt this definition is this full in your life? Yes. So now we have understood who is a leader. Now we have to understand. We have to know the process, the formula to become a leader like that. That's why different principles we learn how to become a true leader, value-based leader. Okay. First is mission. Second is mentor, preparation and planning, consistent hard work, failures as feedback, value system, never give up, team and organization. So these are the key factors to implement in our life in order to become a leader. Next. Mission. So in order to be successful, we need to have a vision. We need to have a mission. If there is no goal in life, it is said, if there is no mission to die for, then what is the use of our life to live for? No meaning. So therefore we should have a mission. Mission means we have something to do for that we can live our life. That is called mission. So in order to be successful, we should have goal or vision in our life. So I told you that uh, I will now explain all these principles from the life of our founder Acharya of Iskon, His Divine Grace, S.E. Bhaktivedanta Sanjana Prabhupada. Because he was a true leader. So he got the mission. What was the mission? To share the message of the Lord in the entire world in English language. So he had a mission. So how many of you have mission in your life? Okay. Kya hai mission arka? Bolli. Our culture. Okay, to spread our culture. Our culture means culture of India, India Vedic culture. Okay. Anybody else? Your goal? Sun Lete Tara? Kya hai goal? Bata hi hatu thaya tap lo. Boli kya hai mission of tap? Don't feel shy. अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है बोलना में सीक्रेट रखना चाहते हैं लोग सीक्रेट सीक्रेट मिशन ओके सो मिशन शुरू करने सीक्रेट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो सर प्रभुपा डेट द मिशन टू स्प्रेड द मेसेज ऑफ द लॉर्ड टू स्प्रेड द मेसेज ऑफ बगवत गीता ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड दैट इज़ द हाईएस्ट वेल्थ पर एक्टिविटी इन दिस वर्ल्ड � so quality of our life depends on mentor. Arjuna, he had a wonderful mentor. His mentor was Krishna. And who was the mentor of Durjadana? Sakuni. So you have to choose your mentor carefully. 
If you want to become Durjadana, then choose Sakuni. And if you want to become Arjuna, then you have to choose. So how many of you want to choose Sakuni in your life? Sakuni name is also not good. good so quality of our life depends on our mentor. So in order to be a good leader, you should have a good mentor. No. So this is the details of uh, how Prabhupada became the Acharya because his Guru guided him and uh, he dedicated his life to serve his mentor. So serving the mentor is very very important principle to become a leader. Next. Preparation and planning. Those who fail to plan, they plan to fail. A goal without a plan is just a wish. So planning and preparation is very, very important. So in order to prepare, in order to plan, you need to have fixed goal. So Arjuna was very focused. He was very focused. So when Donacharya was testing the students, so he called many of his students. And what he did in the tree, he has kept a bird. And he asked Bhima, what you are seeing? Bhima said, that I am seeing the sky, I am seeing the tree, I am seeing the mangoes in the tree, definitely you see the mangoes because it's Bhima. <laughs> and I also see the bird. So in that way he called many students and they said different answers. And Dhunacharya was not happy with those answers. Then he called Arjuna. So Arjuna, what are you seeing? Arjuna said, Gurudev, I cannot see anything other than the eye of the Lord. That is called focus. Very, very important. So when you are focused, then we will be focused in your preparation and planning. So very, very important principle. Planning. Next. Planning. So Srila Prabhupada, he got the instruction or mission in the year 1922. And he established ISKCON in the year 1966. And what he was doing during those days? Sleeping. He was preparing. Preparation. Srila Prabhupada's life was a life of preparation. A lifetime of preparation. Because he had an impossible mission to fulfill. To spread the message of the Lord in every town and village all over the world. That's a very difficult mission. But Srila Prabhupada took it very seriously and he prepared himself and because of that he was successful. Next. Consistent hard work. Consistent hard work. Success is sweet but the secret is sweet. We should not think oh, by dreaming we can get success. Those who are only dreaming, not doing hard work, dream all, only will remain dream. So to bring the dream into reality, we have to work hard. There is no secret formula to become a successful person. And there is also no shortcut process to become successful. We have to work hard. Working hard is very, very important. Okay. Next. So you have seen also in the life of Srila Prabhupada, he worked so hard. He personally used to translate, write, edit, distribute, everything he used to do. Old man. He was doing everything alone because he did not have any followers, he did not have money, did not have any good contacts. But he was working hard. 
and that is the secret of his success. Next. Failures as feedback. If you learn from defeat, then you have not really lost. So therefore, if you don't want to fail, then don't try for anything. If you have the fear of failure, then you cannot become successful. Every successful person has the history of failures. It is said, failures are the pillars of success. Failures are the stepping stone for success. So therefore, we have to learn from failures. It is said, if you don't learn from the history, then history repeats. In the same way, if you don't learn from the failure, failure is not a problem, but you will learn from the failure. If we fail to learn from the failure, then failure will continue. But if we learn from the failure, then in due course of time, those failures will become the stepping stone to become successful. So there are different challenges, different failures Srila Prabhupada faced in his journey. We only see the wonderful stone, because people forget the failures. But people remember the success. So Srila Prabhupada also has the same history. He faced so many challenges and he did not get success in his life. But at the end, he became extremely successful. So he continued. And his journey is a perfect journey to become a perfect leader. So value system. So we also excellent in our uh, discussion who is a leader. So we have to determine what is our value system. Because value system determines the quality of a leader. So, what's your value system? Money or character? Character. So that determines what kind of leader you are. <coughs> so value system is very, very important. So character is very, very important. So Prabhupada said that the greatness of a person has to be estimated by one's ability to tolerate provoking situations. I will repeat. The greatness of a person has to be estimated by one's ability to tolerate provoking situations. Can you repeat? The greatness of a person has to be estimated, has to be estimated by one's ability to tolerate provoking situations. So it is said that if you want to know the character of a person, give him power. If you want to know the character of a person. If you don't have proper character, if you get the power, then definitely it will be Never give up. So, in order to become a leader, there will be failures in our lives. But we should not give it up. So therefore, never give up is very important principle. And for that we need to have firm faith in our mission. Srila Prabhupada never gave up. Why? Because he had firm faith in his mission. But if you don't have firm faith in the mission, then if something happens, you'll give up. That's why our mission has to be very, very strong, powerful. And it should come down from the superiors. Mission, in order to become a good mission, the mission should come down from the superiors. We should not create our own mission. Arjuna did not have his own mission. His mission was given by Krishna. Srila Prabhupada did not have his own mission. His mission was given by his mentor, by his guru. In the same way, we should also get our mission from our superiors. 
that will make the mission very very strong and fixed up. That is very very powerful principle. So the principle to be learned that when we have that fixed goal in our life, then naturally we will never give up. Next. Sri <coughs> Prabhupada has failures, non-cooperation, suppression, depression and what not, but he never gave up. Coming together is the beginning, keeping together is the progress, working together is success. This is a very, very important principle, team and organization. We cannot do things alone. We have to have a team. Team building is a very, very important principle. The team spirit, we talk about team spirit, but we have to learn how to develop that team spirit. That, that needs a lot of qualities. When you have proper qualities, when you have proper value system, then we can have proper team. So one of the most important principle of team is that we should not have proper, we should not have personal ambition. We should work for the team. Team success is my success. It is not my success, it is team success. That needs a lot of good qualities. It is not spiritual, in the material uh, and never also, this is a very important quality we will talk about. In order to be successful in our material endeavor also, these qualities play a very important role. Whether it's a cricket team, football team, any team, management team, wherever you are, if you have to become successful as a leader, you should have that principle of team. Team first, me second. That is very, very important. So coming together is the beginning. So team building is a, is a process. So what is the process? Coming together. Then what is the second? Keeping together in progress. To, keeping together is the progress. Then not only coming together, we have to keep ourselves together. Then working together is success. So in Kali Yuga, working together is a big challenge. Because we don't have the quality of tolerance, we cannot tolerate with each other. Fights. Small, small things, we fight. If you go in local train, you'll understand. Right? For insignificant things, where people will sit up one hour, two hours, they fight. Not only uh, verbally fight, they physically fight also. And if you talk about team, it's very irrelevant for them. For them, the purpose of life is to fight. Fight is right. Fight for right, right? Because I am right. My way or highway. So that's why value system is different. When we have a principle that I value the person more than my own opinion. That is very, very important principle. But nowadays, we value our opinion, but don't value the person. That's why so much uh, break is happening in relationship. Divorce rate is increasing day by day. Why? Because that principle is not maintained. The person is more important than my <coughs> opinion. That's why you have to learn to say sorry. By saying sorry, you are not becoming wrong. By saying sorry, you are conveying that you are more important than my Ego. opinion. So relationship is more important than my opinion. But that value system is no more existing. Everybody is thinking about themselves. What I will get? What, what is there in it for me? That's why relationship cannot sustain. So that's why it is said, saying sorry. If you are wrong and saying sorry, you are honest. But if you don't know whether you are right or wrong, and if you say sorry, then you are intelligent. And if you say sorry, even if you know you are right, you are a husband. <laughs> it's very important principle to keep the relationship together. 
Saying sorry is very important principle. Right? But it does not happen now. We fight. So fighting is not so important, but we have to keep the fight within the four walls. That is Vedic culture. But nowadays, the fight, what happens? The principle is that before marriage, the boy talks and the girl hears. After marriage, it gets reversed. <laughs> Wife talks, husband hears. After few years, both husband and wife talk and neighbors hear. <laughs> and after few years, husband and wife they talk and the judge in the court hear. <laughs> that is the principle. Nowadays we follow. Relationship is very weak because you don't have value system. So in order to have proper team and organization, we must have proper value system. Next. So that's why Srila Prabhupada established a team. He established governing body commission. He said, after my departure, a team of devotees will collectively manage this society. So team spirit is very, very important. And Srila Prabhupada also became a part of that team and managed this society. And after he left also, the leaders together, they manage this society. This is called collective management, team management. So that is a very, very important principle. So this is the success roadmap what we discussed today. Mission, mentor, preparation and planning, consistent hard work, failures as feedback. But we missed that I think, failures as feedback. That slide we missed. Are we discussed that? Yes, sir. Discuss? Yes, yes. Okay. Next. So these are the eight processes. Put that, somebody is taking that. This is the success roadmap. Mission, mentor, preparation, planning, consultation, hard work, failures, such feedback, value system, never give up, human organization. That's it. Thank you very much. Time is up, 8 o'clock. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 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 Hare you have, uh, I think, five to ten minutes to ask questions. Yes. You have cordless mic or uh, you have to speak? Two like that. Okay, no problem. Small room. Anybody can hear. One of the quality of a leader is that they should speak loud. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Maharaj, I'm a second year student in CVS. I'm doing BCom with CA. And uh, I have my exams in May. But the problem I'm having right now is that a lot of stress is coming into my life uh, because I start thinking as you talk about team that your uh, team success should come first rather than your success. I start overthinking that when I go into the corporate world in Kalyuga, the situation is such that even in the team, the team is looking out for personal profit and you know taking things from the others. So who will I be serving actually? I'll be serving people who are self-interested and all. So a lot of negativity comes into my mind and I can't focus on spiritual life. So in that situation, what should a person do? So you asked not one question. <laughs> you asked quite a few questions in your uh, statement. So you have to go one by one. You cannot uh, do all the things together. So as a student, your first duty is to focus on study. But mind is always like that. Mind doesn't want to stay in present situation. He always thinks future. Right? So thinking about the future is not the real thing. You can plan for the future. But thinking about the future is not going to help you. That will only give you anxiety. That's why it is said, past is the history. Future is the mystery. Live in the present. That is the secret of victory. Secret of victory. 
Okay. Okay. Try to live in the present. So, I answered your question. Balance. Life is all about balance. So, when you have a balanced life, then you have anxiety free life. Krishna also says that in Bhagavad Gita. Jukta Hara. Vihara sujikta chastra sa karma, sujikta sapna bhagavad dasa yoga bhagavati dukkha ha. All our miseries will go away when we lead a balanced life. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is the acharya in our line, was a magistrate during British time. So he said that we have to divide our time in a balanced way. He said eight hours for the body, eight hours for the soul and eight hours for the duty or service. So balance. Balanced life is anxiety free life. But when you don't have balance, then that will give you anxiety. So when you are getting anxiety and stress, you have to understand that life is not balanced. And how to make your life balanced? You need the guidance. That's why you need a mentor in your life to guide you how to make your life balanced. Okay, Hare Krishna. Next. My question is, uh, suppose in a team, and um, in a team, uh, if means when to compromise my self performance, so that, so as to enhance the performance of the collective team, how to maintain the balance between my performance and team's performance? So before thinking in that, way, you have to understand first, first to fix your goal. And that goal should be the goal of the team, not your own goal. If that is clear, then team building is very easy. And everybody should work for that goal. But if you don't have a team's goal, then individual goal will collide with each other and fight will start. That's why vision and mission of the team has to be very, very clear. And everybody should work for that. Then that will bring the team together and keep them inspired to achieve the mission of that team. Okay, Hare Krishna. Next. Do you have any more questions or comments, reflections, doubts, confusions, clarifications? Ask questions to Maharaj. Any doubts we have? First year especially. Why? They have social privilege, huh? Thank you so much. So first year boys have the most privilege to ask questions. Don't feel sad. This is not the hostel. Okay? No question? How many of you understood what I spoke? So sometimes I make a statement that if you don't ask questions, two things could have happened. You understood everything or you did not understand anything. In between, there must be some questions. Lord Juna asked so many questions. Krishna finished Bhagavad Gita in second chapter. But Lord Juna started asking questions. Then we got 18 chapters. So learning means asking questions. Without asking questions, you cannot learn. And learning is very, very important principle to become a leader. So you all raise the hand that you are on to become leader. So asking questions is a very important principle. Maybe we are not feeling shy. We are not feeling inspired to ask questions. Don't feel shy. You can ask questions. Yes. So, like, so you said like, uh, we should have a collective goal so that it will not conflict with our own personal goal if it is not the collective goal. How can we set that goal? Like, how do we understand like, what should a collective goal for us be? That's why you have to choose what kind of mission you should have. What is your mission of life? Material mission or spiritual mission? Accordingly, you will have your team, your own, everything will depend on that. So, setting our mission is very important principle. It is divine grace of Prabhupada and a spiritual mission, spiritual mission given by his Guru. And you work on that. So spiritual mission is very important because that will give eternal benefit to us and also to everyone. 
That's why spiritual mission is very, very important. Okay? So, decide accordingly. So, Juna got the mission to fight the battle of Kurukshetra and through that he was uh, given the mission to establish dharma. What is the purpose of a leader? To establish dharma in this world. That is the purpose of a king. But now it is Kali Yuga is the Yuga of Adharma. That's why people don't talk about Dharma. Dharma means making money in Kali Yuga. And every goal and mission is based on that principle. Kitna Milega. Yes. <laughs> So that kind of mission only will lead to conflicts and fights. Okay. Any other question? लेकिन पहले ही बोल दिया था तो हमारा जिंदगी का मिशन फिक्स करना है तो पहले हमारा जिंदगी में एक मेंटर चाहिए अर्जुन वॉज एन एंगजाइटी एंड फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट इट इज सरेंडर टू कृष्ण एंड एक्सेप्टेड इम एज इज मेंटर ऑल कंफ्यूजन विल बी हैंडल वेरी वंडरफुली फॉर इन यूर प्रॉपर मेंटर अदरवाइज योर माइंड विल बिकम योर मेंटर एंड वेन माइंड बिकम्स योर मेंटर वील ऑनली गिव यू एंगजाइटी So choose your mental problem, mind or somebody else. Okay, very good. Anything else? Okay, I think uh, it's up. So we thank Maharaj by giving round of applause, everyone. I like to thank all of you also for coming here on Saturday night. <coughs> on Saturday night you can do so many other things on the <laughs> But you have come here and spend time in this wonderful way. Thank you so much for your wonderful effort in this regard. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, I request our project advisor and course designer to come and introduce the next course announcement. My God. So, my God. जब कृष्ण का इच्छा हुआ वो बदार में मित्र. So first of all, uh, uh, Prakash, Prakash को है ना? Prakash. Arigan Pro to come here. So uh, Arigan Pro, uh, he actually uh, designed all the posters uh, and passes which we have received, and uh, also he have sponsored uh, whole uh, printing cost for this wonderful program. Haribo. So Arigan Pro. He uh, is chanting uh, six rounds and he has uh, done his uh, graduation. He has done his MSc from Calcutta University in uh, Computer Science. Thank you very much. So next devotee. <coughs> Next is uh, uh, Ashutosh Jha. So, uh, uh, so Ashutosh Jha Prabhu is chanting 16 rounds. He has completed his B.Tech from uh, NIT Durgapur. And now, he is working as a senior person in uh, Accenture. So, uh, so Haribol. 
So, uh, so we thank Asuka School for his wonderful service. He is taking care of one batch and taking care of many uh, many students under him. And also, uh, we are going to uh, going to offer you a a uh, technical course, technical training, and he is going to lead that training course. So next is uh, our uh, Nayan Prabhu, Nayan, Nayan Patel. So we thank uh, Nayan Patel for his uh, uh, setting a good example for balancing spiritual life and academics. So he is very new in spiritual life but he is chanting 16 round and also... To get in touch with him. <laughs> so also he has set a very nice uh, standard and success in his academic, so he became a third topper in his second year. Uh, uh, second year, uh, so he is he is uh, studying in in uh, which college? Techno India, Techno India, Techno India in CS department. So, Hari Bo. So next is uh, uh, Rahul Pru. Rahul can come. So, uh, so we offer our appreciation to Rahul Prabhu for setting also a good example for balancing his spiritual practices and also academic. So he is a fourth year student uh, in mechanical department of NSCC and recently he got placement in Cognizant. Oh. He is also uh, doing his spiritual practice in the morning and doing um, uh, chanting 16 rounds. So we request Mahana to offer. Our if... principal is morning for sadhana, evening for studies and become topper in both. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So one more devotee is not here, our Sain Prabhu. So uh, he actually completed his MBBS and uh, after that uh, uh, recently uh, Recently, he is also uh, got placement in MS, uh, Master in Surgery. So, unfortunately, he has also done many services, but even doing many services, uh, he is very humble. So, we thank Sayan Prabhu for his wonderful service and, uh, and a manifesting very wonderful quality of a uh, leader. <coughs> so, next... Uh, Next. Master of Spirituality, MS. So next, uh, we request uh, Akshay Prabhu to come here. So Akshay Prabhu is uh, Akshay Keshwatkar. So <coughs> he is the overall coordinator of this uh, voice. Voice, full form of voice is Vaidik Voices for Inspiration, Culture and Education. So he consists many uh, senior students, passed out students from different engineering colleges and medical colleges and who guides the juniors. Nowadays, like most of the college and universities, the students are involved in many wrong activities. So they're spoiling their character, their habits, and their studies also. So therefore, this group of students, senior students, they make a like a team. And helping the juniors save their life. So the sound is a little bit so lead a better life, lead a value-based huh? leadership life huh? and uh, uh, perform the studies along with their spiritual values. So uh, our Akshay uh, Keshwatkar, Akshay Prabhu is an uh, uh, overall coordinator and he has done many services last six, seven years. He is working, he, he is also, uh, uh, he has done also his B.Tech in computer science and he is working now in a cognizant as a senior developer. Is, is from Chennai, uh, so he has done uh, his uh, B.Tech from Chennai. So, uh, so we, we request Maharaj to offer gift. Hari Bo. So there is many other, many other. Okay, we have signed Prabhu. We request here signed to come here. So Sain Prabhu has, uh, he have done his MBBS from Malda Medical College and then after that he worked in, uh, in um, Woodland Hospital and then he was uh, preparing for his MD and MS and saying here uh, he got placement in MS yesterday. <laughs>
So he is also chanting 16 round and doing many uh, like manage, managerial services, very expert manager. So uh, and also very sincerely practicing uh, his spiritual life. So he thanks Sain Prabhu for his good example. So uh, there is many other devotees uh, or students who have done many services. But because time is short, so we are not able to appreciate everyone. But before uh, we go to the course, I want to uh, appreciate the the new student, first year students who reached all of reached out all of you and invited eh, all of you for this wonderful program. So should we appreciate them? Yes. 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 Okay. So so invite uh, Govin. Ashish, Priyanshu, Sanjeev, Vivek, Rajneesh. So they are first year boys. And we are asking the second year. So please come and take this from Mara. So thank you very much for your uh, sincere service. A very special book, Perfect Question, Perfect Answer. Hari Bol. Hari it will it will help you huh, in your in your next phase of your life yes you are benefited yes yes okay so uh, so you enjoy today's session yes how many of you learn want to learn more like this how many of you want to learn more how many of you want to become really want to become successful and a true leader Please raise your hand. Okay. So it is said, it is said that that talent is talent is very much valuable and appreciable. Correct? Like all of you are from engineering background. Huh? So all of you have talent. So so talent, everybody appreciate talent. But when somebody have somebody have good attitude, then he become he become much more talented. better. Talented. Huh? Somebody have talent but no good attitude. Then people will like him? No. No way. So when somebody have talent huh, and also have an attitude, huh, then he become a better person. Huh? And then after attitude, somebody have somebody have character. Huh? Then he is even better person. Huh? Better personality. Correct? Somebody has like Maharaj was speaking about Duryodhan. So you have talent, you have skill, but no character. So there we become so dangerous. So when somebody have talent, it's very much valuable. But when you have good attitude, then even more valuable, even better personality. And then when you have character, habits, good habits, values, then he become even better personalities uh, and then somebody have blessings after that uh, after character uh, sometimes somebody have character but no blessings so then <coughs> he may have something good but he will not become so successful but when somebody have blessings of God uh, blessings of seniors uh, blessings of gurus uh, so become even greater personality. Uh, so he become actually uh, the instrument, uh, actually empowered and do many things. Uh, so therefore, <coughs> from on behalf of uh, 
this NSCC Garia Voice, we are offering very special course. We are offering very special course. The course name is Positive Thinker. So Bhagavad Gita has many powerful messages. You have learned some of the messages today. How many of you think that these messages are very powerful? Very much benefiting, helpful. Can guide me. Yes, uplift me. So Bhagavad Gita has many powerful messages. Now to tap that power, to tap that power, we need positive spirit. And that positive spirit will come by this positive thinker course. Hare Krishna. So, so this most powerful message of Bhagavad Gita explain very very important truth in our life. So, Bhagavad Gita speaks the reality of this material world. Bhagavad Gita speaks the problems of this world. Bhagavad Gita gives the solution of those problems. Bhagavad Gita speaks about the direction, about the goal. Bhagavad Gita speaks about mind, the nature of mind. Bhagavad Gita speaks about karma. Bhagavad Gita speaks about the next life. Bhagavad Gita speaks about ourselves, our duties. Bhagavad Gita speaks about the highest truth, the supreme controller. Bhagavad Gita speaks about time. So in this way, Bhagavad Gita gives many, many important lessons. So, 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 on the basis of this, this powerful message, which Bhagavad Gita speaks, so we have designed a very beautiful course that is Positive Thinker, and this Positive Thinker course will help you to tap those power, to principles, those leadership principles, and make your life successful make you a better and better and better and best personality so how many of you want to become the best personality okay thank you so in this course is divided in two part uh, divided into two departments so first is spiritual training uh, spiritual training and second one is technical training uh, like you have talent also and you have blessings also you have talent also and have blessings also you have character also, values also, and you have you have skills also. Skills also. So it is a complete care, complete care of Krishna, complete care of Krishna. So, so the spiritual training, uh, spiritual training will take place every Friday evening, six thirty to eight thirty. Uh, the spiritual courses. So it is a ten day course, uh, ten day course, once in a week. 10 day course, very special courses, topics are there and this course, uh, these topics are mentioned in this registration form. So you will find the registration form in our registration uh, booth, in our registration table and we also dis will be distributing from here. So, uh, so it is a 10 day course and you can find many important topics uh, has been given and then <coughs> we have, uh, we have technical training and that technical training will take place every Sunday. So every Sunday, 6.30 to 8.30. 6.30 to 8.30. And now we are going to teach, in the beginning we are going to teach C language and C++. Okay, how many of you need C language and C++? Okay, many of you. Okay, so, so we have uh, Ashutosh Jha Prabhu, so he is going to teach you uh, this uh, C language and C++. So, so in this way, it is uh, every week, two days, uh, spiritual training that is on Friday. And then we have technical training that is on Sunday. That is on Sunday, 6.30, 6.30. Okay. And this, uh, this course include your, uh, also include your uh, dinner. So, yes, so now for the whole course, whole course, for the whole course we have, we have kept very minimum registration fees, uh, so that is only 150 rupees and if you register for this course, 150 rupees including your spiritual and your technical course and also every week you will get special dinner, uh, so it's, which already cover uh, or 
maybe five time of your registration fees <laughs> and same time same time because it is a Gita Jayanti day and all of you are first first time you came so from voice side they are offering they are offering uh, offering a special gift huh? so that is uh, Bhagavad Gita as it is Haribo. so whoever will register this course huh? uh, by giving only 150 rupees you will get 300 rupees Bhagavad Gita as a as a free of gift Hari Bol. Now this Bhagavad Gita, this Bhagavad Gita, where is Bhagavad Gita? The new, new Bhagavad Gita. Book So this Bhagavad Gita, this Bhagavad Gita. If you go to the any any library, any public shop, they will cost 400 rupees. It is cost price is 300 rupees. Cost price is 300 rupees. Now this book is a very branded book. Branded book, this book become a textbook more than 70% universities in Bangladesh. Bangladesh? America. So textbook more than 70% universities in America. If you go to Cambridge University, Cambridge University in So this book a textbook. In Oxford University, there is a separate class on Bhagavad Gita. And our uh, teachers, our devotees are giving uh, the lectures. So, also this is one of the highest sold book of the Guinness Book of World Record. But that same book you are getting uh, as as a free. That is also on the day of. So, so this is uh, our announcement. So, I request all of you. So, next ten minutes you can do your registration, and then you will have. Uh, your dinner. So we have uh, we have actually limited copies. So uh, some of our uh, some of our um, our devotees and Velusha they have sponsored uh, the rest of the money for all of you. So uh, their names are uh, Shunil Prabhu, um, uh, Neha Mataji, then uh, Sanchari Mataji and then uh, Rahul Prabhu, some of the seniors, uh, they have sponsored uh, the money, uh, the discount money, Surajit Prabhu, uh, so many seniors, so they have sponsored uh, for all of you. So we thank them chanting one time Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, so thank you all very much so uh, enthusiastically participating for today's program so now we have registration time so we have uh, limited limited copies of Bhagavad Gita we have I think 35 copies of Bhagavad Gita I don't know how many of you are here so so the registration and the books registration book the registration and books uh, goes first come first basis okay so uh, I request our volunteer to pass this registration <laughs> You have pain, so you can take the pain. You can also. Pen, pen, pen. 